more than just Ovaltine. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgus Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deign to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. I'm not here to be lectured by you. No, you've come to gain our trust. Learn about your new enemy. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. Let's hope you're more agreeable. You'll find our people stand as one. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. I guess I'm willing to check it out. They're slaughtering us with their technology. You want our help? Deal with it. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? The technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. Either one of those plans could work. My people aren't afraid to fight for their homes. We just lack the means. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Ah, <sighs> I picked the middle answer because, well, you know, I am kind of leaning towards the jerk side. I know that we're also trying to be like, hey guys, how's it going? So we uh, you know, need your need your help here. And I figured that would not be in line with our current way of thinking, so. I think what we'll do now is go knock out this quest or three. We also gotta to talk to the captain of the guard, find out the dirty little secrets of our enemy, and then continue on. So where is he at? He's way over there. Alright. And then all right, I gotta remember not to take a path out that's not gonna lead to the right area. I seem to have a nasty habit of that. Jedi, I think I know what you've been doing. Bedaria sent you to speak with me. She told you about the Flesh Raider elixir, didn't she? How it makes the Flesh Raiders strong. bedaria has been looking for a way to destroy the elixir, but she's making a terrible mistake. We shouldn't destroy the elixir, we need it. And I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. What exactly are you offering? Credits. Republic credits. More than Vidariot will offer. The elixir can make our guardsmen strong. Yes, it may change them, but it will work. We can defend our village and destroy our foes. Imagine, if the elixir can make a flesh raider powerful, what would it do for a pilgrim warrior? Bring it to me, and you will be rewarded, praised. All right. You'll get your elixir. Ha! Good. I'll speak to Vidariot and tell her you report to me now. The elixir is in the Flesh Raider Caves beyond Calicori. I'll have your credits waiting when you return. Okay. Here we go. First part. Looks like it has us... Uh, actually, no, all of them. Go down here. Out of the broken remains of the wall. I just want to get that fixed at. At least, like, stuff some tree stumps on top or something. I don't know. Alright, let's try not to kill the cat. I like cats. <gasps> no, don't aggro on me. Ah! Run! No! We must continue on. <gasps> He's got his own personal droid. How cool is that? Oh. Watch out for that rock. Alright, these are the ones that we need to kill. Kill we shall. 
Oh, ow. Hey, stop teasing me. Huh, that was a relatively small range, it seems like. Five meters. Well, I guess it's not that bad. Just a little worried. It seemed like, uh, considering how, especially since some mobs are actually pretty far apart, I found. Um. Yeah, that might not be as effective. As well. Like, it'll be, it'll be useful a lot of times, but it's just... You, I'm not just gonna go, like, randomly charge into every fight. What are you shooting me with? It's like this random thing. Like a tricorder or something. Hey, there we go. I wonder if I can drink it. Can I drink it? The whole thing? Can I drink the whole thing? Oh, I can't. Poop. Uh, I should probably charge you. There we go. I don't want to waste uh, a waste focus on you, but I do want to do that. And... Yeah, we'll just keep on going up here. Ooh, what is this? Data pad. Oh, Matriarch, forgive me. The flesh raiders are here. I can't fight them. The patrol is too far away. I can't. Goodbye, my son. My matriarch. Goodbye. Oh no. Well, we found the father. Poor guy. How did he how did he decay that quickly? Huh. Wasn't he gone for like two days? I guess they uh I guess these guys really do a good job of cleaning it off. Oh, did I just get Wow. I cannot believe they actually slapped me like that. So this is a strong mob. He uh has more hit points than your regular mob, but he pretty much just has the sum amount of hit points as if you were to add up the hit points of three regular mobs. <laughs> okay, we need four more of these elixir doohickeys. You think we'd be able to get like five vials worth from one of these containers. Although those things look like they hold gasoline. So I don't know if we should be drinking that. Ooh, he's a shaman. 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 However you pronounce it. You personally. I think shaman. Oh, pfft. You're nothing, buddy. I'm glad they actually have a decent amount of... Uh, oh, crap. Um, I was going to say a decent amount of graphical animations for the attacks. It's not like it's, you know, some games where it's like, okay, you have the same you have the same special attack graphic as the auto attack. Oh, but we're going to give you one super special attack, but you saw like a 30-minute cooldown. It takes half a second to use. It's kind of, kind of aggravating. Are we getting a twofer? We're getting a twofer. So there's three. Can we locate the fifth one? Is it, uh, oh, okay, over there. Cool. Jedi Consular phase. We're not going there. What about over here? Is there one over here? No. no. Yes! Haha! -ha! Success. Two down. Two down. Three down. I win. Sweet. So that's all but one. And we're going to go in here and see what's up. Ominous cave. I thought that would have, uh, wow, that. Two or three. Two or three is not bad, I guess. It sounded like a robot. I'm gonna laugh if we get in there and, and there's like. The leader of this whole thing is some crazed R2 unit. Oh, not again! Don't hit me! Funk. Funk. I shall thunk you to death! 
Ooh, another chest. I'm just like the luckiest person in this chest. What we got? Fiber sword? No way, really? Sweet. Awesome. New weapon. Didn't even have to buy it. Yay! Yeah, that charge still does a good bit of damage. I have to say I'm rather impressed. Oh, and if you don't if you don't actually finish your quest for the elixirs, looks like there's containers inside. Again, I do not recommend them for public consumption, but this Twi'leks, if they wanna if they wanna drink it, that's fine, they can do their thing. I don't think becoming a crazed Jedi would be a good thing to do at level four. I feel like the I feel like our gaming experience would be ruined for the long term. Oh, I need to set up my second hotbar with some keys. That's something else I gotta remember to do. We're almost level five. I just realized that. Stupid shield. It reduces damage by 25%. At least I think it's 25%. That's what it is in the bounty hunter. Oh, there's another shaman. What do we what are we doing here? I don't actually know. Apparently nothing there, so we'll just continue on. Oh, look at this. It's a phase. Defeat the Flesh Raiders, five and nine. <laughs> yeah, we'll do like this quest in no time. It's just a bonus quest, though, so... No big deal. How do? Why do they drag all this crap in? Have you noticed that? There's always, you know, like, quote unquote, scavenger races, but they get it in here, and you see that it just sits and sinks in the dirt and falls in pieces. And they don't actually do anything with it. So it's a bunch of pack rats. That's all their galactic pack rats. My mother would smack me with a fish if I did that. Obviously, they need mothers. Okay. War ma Ooh, War Master. Alright, buddy, it's on. Got a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of focus here. Just focus dump. Focus on dumping. And success. Goodies? Shinies? Hey, look at that. Alright, use... Sabotage. Yeah, we'll sabotage I it. wish I could see the Flesh Raiders' faces when this stuff blows up on them. <laughs> okay, it's... it's. We have to be nice. We have to... It's, don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. Oh. I know. That's what I thought, too. Good thing the Flesh Raiders don't eat droids. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. <laughs> T7 ready to roll. Cool! So, we can quick travel, right? We can! So, we should quick travel to... Let me see, what is it? Is it, is it the Gnarls? No. Um, here. Yeah! 
Calicory Village. We'll do that. It should come with us. It should. It should hop on the shuttle that's going to come careening through the through the wall here any second. Hi, we're here. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, see, it's with us. Awesome. All right, buddy. I have your uh, have your juice. Ah, Jedi. You've been to the Flesh Raider caves. I can smell them on you. You ugh. have my elixir? I'm eager to feed my guardsmen. It's time for you to honor our bargain. Here are your credits. You've done well by the pilgrims. I'll tell the dairy if the elixir was destroyed. But before long, my warriors will strike at the Flesh Raider settlement. Your life is likely to be forfeit. If so, I will die with my men surrounded by Flesh Raider corpses. Be on your way, Jedi. And the next time you cut into a Flesh Raider, think of us. Will do there, buddy. Will do. Got a nice little pants upgrade. We'll throw that on. Wish I could give my little droid unit some pants. Stuff them on his head. But, more important things. Another quest to turn in. Jedi, you're back. What happened out there? Where's my father? I have him right here. What's left of him. This is what's left? His body? His ring? Those monsters. Tell me you cut them into pieces for what they did. Of course. I killed them all. It was what had to happen. I'm glad some Jedi are willing to take a stand. Some of you understand that not all creatures deserve to live. I wanted my father back. I didn't really believe it would happen. But at least you went out there for a reason. At least you spilled blood. That's right. I did. And I will get my... Why would you give me the option to get willpower? That's weird. And, uh, yeah, let's go turn in this quest. And then we should be able to head back to the, uh... To the Jedi Enclave... I think that's where we'll stop the video. But for now, we need to go talk to the... Uh, the people that we gotta be nice to, you know. Ugh. She Whoa. died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her. I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten. No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? I have no obligation to explain myself to you. You have an obligation to defend life. To stop evil. Isn't that what you people do? The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? If you're dumb enough to pick fights with Jedi, maybe you don't deserve to survive. I knew you weren't here to help. We'll just have to take justice for ourselves. Emotions are running high enough. All you did was stir things up. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person. And Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. This thing's been a pain in my neck since the Flesh Raider camp. One of our oh, long-range probes. I thought we'd lost all of them. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. Yeah, <laughs> thanks to me being a total jerk. One of our scouts watched from a distance while you invaded the Flesh Raider camp. He said you defeated many of them. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. I'll be your champion whenever you need one. Oh, I... Um, I should give you the information you requested. Morant, report. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi temple. Kaleth was a great city of force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. 
Drive back those flesh raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the council. That hooded figure in the holo. I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the flesh raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. In case you haven't noticed, I handle things just fine by myself. Don't get cocky. You're good, but you're still a Padawan. If you see that hooded figure from the Holo, do not engage him. I get going. Oh, right. Well, I just lost one affection with the droid, which makes me kind of sad. But at the same time, we got a weapon, and it looks like it has a mild increase in statistical value. So we will equip said weapon, even though it looks <laughs> kind of goofy. Oh, it's glowy, though. It's glowy. Oh, bone little little glow stick. Oh, look at that. See? It even glows in the wall there. Kind of a flickering glow, but still nonetheless. Let's see. Where do we go now? We go to Meditation Tunnel. All right. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to make a Jedi Knight you guys to watch since it's been something I've received a lot of PMs about. And if you enjoyed it, please thumbs up. Like I said, don't worry, I will be continuing my Bounty Hunter series. Have no fear. Um, but uh, be sure that if you're not subscribed, do so to catch all the latest videos that I upload. And other than that, we should go check out the Skyrim video series if you haven't lately. Um, Alduin, we have recently engaged battle with him. You'll have to go check out how that went and more. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.